Lord, I pray. Lord, receive our worship. Receive it tonight, Lord. Receive it, Father. Receive it. Jesus, we love you and we worship you. You are the King. We are the sons and the daughters. Lord, I pray you mark your people tonight. Come and baptize them afresh. Fill them, Lord, with power from on high to fulfill the task that you've given unto them. Father, nights like these, Lord, is holy for us because it came at a great, great cost for you. You came as a man. You died. You rose again. And so, Father, we want to thank you tonight for Jesus. Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you that you came. Thank you for giving us the gift of the person of the Holy Spirit. And by Him, we move and we have our being. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the King. Glory to the One. With pierced hands and pierced feet and a pierced side and stripes on His back. Praise to the One, both now and forevermore. Lord, of the breath in this body, Lord, I praise you, Lord, for I belong to you. And Lord, we, your people, belong to you in this night, Lord. And Father, we thank you that we have the opportunity to at least once, Lord, cast crowns before your feet and say, worthy is the Lamb who was and is and is to come. Worthy are you, O God. So is that okay? Because we want to action immediately. I, in John chapter number 14, verse number 16, Jesus prays this prayer, or He says this to His disciples in the upper room. He says, and I, I'm just going to read for you, and I will pray the Father, and He will give you another helper, that He may abide with you forever. Verse number 26, John chapter number 14, verse number 26, he says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all things that I said to you. And the reason why we are here tonight, if you page on just two or three pages, you get to Acts chapter number 1, verse number 8. Jesus made a promise. This was his promise. 
but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria and to the end of the earth. Read for you again, verse number eight. But you, that's you and me, shall, not may, we shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon us and you shall be my witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Hallelujah. When you, when you read these scriptures, we are speaking about the person of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Acts chapter number 2 verse number 38, Then Peter said to them, Repent, every one of you, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so tonight, what I want to do, I don't want to preach. I want to be sure the scripture tells us that you and I can be filled multiple times. In actual fact, I would encourage that you be filled multiple times. You may have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit once, and that might have given you gifts. It might have given you the ability to speak in other tongues. It might have given you the ability to witness as the scripture declared. But then the Bible says that God never intended for us to run out of power. God never intended for us to run out of authority. God never intended that we as a people run dry of the person of the Holy Spirit. And every now and again, we have to remind ourselves that this earth belongs to the Lamb. This kingdom belongs to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We have to know He is a King. And He is not just a King, He is the King. The earth belongs to Him. What is under the earth belongs to Him. The galaxies belongs to Him. The galaxies, galaxies belongs to Him. And all the earth and every person that has a breath will one day pray honor and homage to the King. We will see Him coming, I'm telling you. And on that day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess and give glory to the Lamb. But as the anointing is present here tonight, as you come out tonight, I want us to have hungry hearts and that you, the scripture says, freely we have received, freely we can give, right? And so also, if you study the book of Hebrews, the Holy Spirit comes by the laying on of hands. The Holy Spirit also comes, of course, if you study the book of Acts, chapter number two, the last few sentences from my side, the Bible says the Holy Spirit came suddenly and 120 men were filled with the power that Jesus promised in Acts chapter number one and verse number eight. And then the Bible says something beautiful, that tongues of fire rest on each and every one of them. Please note that the Spirit of the Lord wants to rest on each and every one of you. Not, not just on a corporate assembly like we are here tonight, but the Spirit of the Lord wants to rest on you. The Spirit of the Lord wants to rest on each of you. Amen? So that you may be filled with the Spirit of the Lord. I want you to lift your hands to the Lord and then I'm going to give you instructions. Father, I want to pray. It's a reason that you say holy are these evenings, Lord. We count them holy. Holy are you, O oh God. And Father, I pray in this night, Lord, guide our steps. Direct this evening, my Lord. And Father, I pray that as your people come, Lord, that you would fill them with your spirit. Father, your word declares everyone that have received Christ Jesus as Lord is worthy to receive the gift of the person of the Holy Spirit. And so I want to pray tonight, Lord, thank you. Thank you for doing your word and resting on your word 
and performing your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, it is right for your children to be full. It is right for your children to be overflowing. It is right for your children to be a temples of the Most High God. It is right that you've come to tabernacle with us and we with you. In Jesus' name we pray. King Jesus, Lord, we give you the honor and we give you the praise. Lord, I'm very much aware that you paid a high price. Your head was pierced with the thorns of men. Your hands were nailed to a tree. Your feet were pierced. Your side was pierced. Your back was lacerated. Father, I'm very aware, Jesus, of the price you paid that we might be filled with the Spirit of the Lord. Father, I pray this night that nobody, but nobody will treat this lightly. But we will understand, Lord, you gave your life so that we might be free and never be guilty and never be condemned and never be ashamed in the eyes of our God. What a gift we have in Jesus. What a King we have in Jesus. What a Lord we have in Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. In this night we pray. Amen and amen. I want to ask, we, we need to do this block by block. Is that okay? Because the church is relatively full and um, we'll have to do it block by block. So what we want to do, I, I brought a cloth for each and every one of you. And I want to ask if you are a husband and wife, I'm just going to give you one. And the reason why I, I give it to you, a cloth that is dipped in oil, I want to explain. The Bible says that it's just a touchable. And so as we dipped it with oil, oil is not the Holy Spirit. It is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Everybody with me? So if you are here as husband and wife, I want you to just take one. But for the rest of you, we're going to try to give each and every one one. Is that okay? But if you are husband and wife and family come together, and what we want to do is we want to anoint each and every one of you. And we want to take a little bit of our time. Is that okay? I want to be sure that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. I cannot tell you how many times in 18 years I've asked the Lord to fill me again. Multiple times. Maybe 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. The impartation of the Holy Spirit is a God thing. It's something the Lord does. But it comes from a hungry heart. Amen. And my prayer for you is tonight that the Lord will touch you. And my prayer for you is tonight that the Father will fill you. Because once we are filled of the Holy Spirit, we change and we become the other man. It's scriptural what I'm saying. Once we get filled of the Holy Spirit, we become the other man. So we're going to worship, continue to worship. And what I want to ask is, the pastors are going to stand there in a line and we're going to come this way and we're going to go around that way. Is that okay? So can we start of this block? I want us just to line up and just come through and I'm gonna, we're going to pray for you and then this block and then that block. Is that fine, guys? Can we do it like that? We need a little bit of patience. But uh, with patience comes great infilling of power. Hallelujah. So I want to ask again, why don't you just come and stand with us? Just this block. You're welcome to come out. La Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Pastor Given, it's fine. Why don't you guys just step out? It's too many people. It's too many people. We're just going to shift our plans here. Thank you, Lord. La broche there be under This whole block can come out. Pastor, you're going to just, we're going to go down with the people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to ask for a second row to come in. Can I ask everybody here in the first row, just one step forward. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just to help us with a second row. Father, we want to thank you. Why don't you just lift your hands. 
Father, we want to thank you that in this night, Lord, as we pray for your people, and Father, we thank you. We want to thank you, Lord, as we pray together. Father, we thank you that you touch each and every one of these precious people. Father, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Father, mark them with your Holy Spirit. But Lord, I want to pray that 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 you've given to us, Lord, that it freely is given to them. Father, impart to them a new, fresh wine. Lord, I pray, impart to them a new, fresh wine in this night. Not an old one, a fresh one. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus. And all we want to do, pastors, we're going to start just to pray. And as I lay hands, you just lay hands with me and we go down the, the line. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Fill your people. Fill your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fill your people. Fill your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He is worthy of praise. Thank you, Lord. La brosta, la bara 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 La brosta, la bara 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fall them, Lord. Fall them, Lord. La brosta, la bara 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 Thank you, Jesus. Fall your people. Fall your people, Lord. Fill your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who was made and seated on the throne? There's no one like the Lord. Fresh wine, Jesus. Fresh wine.
seated on the throne. Thank you, Jesus. There's no one like the Lord. Bless the families, Lord. La brosh da rabarabosh. Yeah, there's no one like the Lord. Bless the families, Lord. La brosh da rabarabosh. Yeah, the elders, creatures bow, giving praise to Him and Him alone. There's no one like the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Let's worship Your name stands above the Lord. 
worship. Thou art exalted far above all God. For that Lord, for thou art Lord. For thou
Lord, la broche that a bit of a under us, fall them, Lord. Fall them, Lord. Fall them, Lord. Fall them, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Thank you, Jesus. I can search for all eternity long. Us. Let's worship the Lord, your presence. Your presence is heaven to me.
lift our hands. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you more than anything. More than anything. I want us to trust the Lord tonight. Part of the anointing is that sickness is not tolerated. It's not part of the covenant that we have with our Lord. Our Lord died so that none of us will be sick. I say that again. Our Lord died that none of us will be sick. And so if you have any form of sickness in your body, I just want you to lift your hand. I want the body of Christ just to quickly look around for people with hands up. Just lay hands on them. You will be healed tonight. Father, we thank you that we can just lift your hands if there's any sickness in your body. Any sickness. I just want people with these precious people. Nobody alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, in this night, in Jesus' name, pray with me. There we are standing with these precious people. Say me, Father, in this night, in Jesus' name, we thank you that the healing power of Jesus floods their bodies right now. In Jesus' name, we break off all form of sickness, disease, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command you in this night to leave these bodies and to never return. We remind you tonight that the blood of Jesus heals you, sets you free, restores you from head to toe. Receive His restoration power in this night. In Jesus' name. Oh, there we are stand. Just keep your hands on them for one more minute. Just one more minute. Just receive everybody. If you are sick and you are online, Father, I want to pray for every person that is online. I want you just to comment your name. If there's any sickness in your body, any sickness in your body, everybody that's in-house, I want you just to keep on praying. Just pray in the Spirit. Just for a minute. Just pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. If you are online and there's any form of sickness or disease in your body, I want you just to comment your name. I'm looking at, at my monitors right now. Just comment your name. I want to pray for you tonight. That sickness will go. It will not stay. I see the names. Christian, the Ne family. I see your names. Anna Marie. La Brochtere. Come on, just comment your names, guys. I'm giving you a moment. Just comment, just comment, just comment. This one, comment. Come on, let's just pray in the Spirit. Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. Let's just pray. Let's pray, pray, pray. La Brochtere, Briandro, Borobon, Dere, Bere, Beandre, Beshtere. Le Brechtere, Bere, Beandro, Borobon, Dere, Becara, Beandre. I'm looking at the names. Patricia, Pat, Kerry, Colleen, Baby, Patricia, Emma. Anne, Audrey, Selina, Hildegard, Emma, Labroche de Briandre, Frederick, Trifina, Catherine, Erika, Epsom, Labroche de Briandre, Bostre, Lovi, Labroche de Briandre, Barabon, de Rebetzer Beandre. Father, thank you that in this night, Lord, we can pray over every single person in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you that there's no distance between us and them. And Lord, I thank you that now that the healing power of Jesus the Christ comes through this camera, touches people in their homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you that you know your people. You know exactly where they're at. You know exactly where to heal them. Father, I thank you that your healing power floods their bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it shall be in 
the name of Jesus the Christ we pray and all God's people say come on give Jesus Come on, can we do that again? Just 10 seconds of praise with you all. Um, there are people here, the Holy Spirit stops me. There are people here, you're trusting God for, for children. You're trusting God for children. I recently prophesied when I was in the States. I prophesied that a couple will have a child and they are with child. So I don't know if I have the baby anointing, I think I have. Um, but I want to pray for you. If the Holy Spirit highlights you like that, if there's anybody like that, trusting God for a child, of course you must be married. <laughs> That's just the condition. You have to be married. There was like four or five couples I saw in the spirit.
thank you that everything in this body returns to normality in this night in Jesus name we break off all forms all forms Lord all forms healing power in Jesus name healing power church here as a church lift your hands to the Lord come on come on let's lift our hands righteous father we your people come before you father I pray that this church will be known as a place of the habitation of the presence of the Lord. Father, you have said to me that our churches will have to be churches of great intimacy. So Father, I pray that Empower Church Pretoria, Durban, Cape Town shall be filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, come and rest of us. Come and abide here. Father, I pray over all your people in this night that we will have a hunger and a thirst for the Holy Spirit. That we will have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. Father, I pray that in this church, Lord, that people will come from the south and the north and the east and the west to come and drink from the fountain called Empower. Father, you have said to us many years ago that we will be an oasis of hope and help. Father, thank you for filling your word. Thank you for letting that come to pass. Father, now I ask, do it one more time. Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place. Father, I pray according to the words that you have given me. That there will be a young people that will rise up in this place, north of this mountain. And they will be filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And they will know the Lord. And they will worship Him that sits upon the throne. And they will give Him honor. Father, thank You that this area shall be known as a place that is redeemed by the Lord. That this community shall be known for healthy families, whole households whole children, whole marriages, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you as the stronghold in this area, Lord, that we will be known as a people that fear the Lord, that knows our God, and that does great exploits. Father, thank you that we as a people, Lord, shall be known as a fruitful people, as a people that is under the power of the Lord. And so tonight, Father, I bless your people and I pray my Lord, Lord, that each and every one of us will have a divine hunger and a divine thirst. Lord, I pray for the people online, every single one of us. Lord, before we honor you, Lord, I pray that we will be a people that are set aside for your heart, set aside for your purposes, set aside for your design in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. And all of Empower say, Come on, let's give Jesus some praise. Come on, let's just give Him some wonderful praise. I want us as we stand, was Stefan to come to the stage. I want us just to honor the Lord of our tithing and our offering. Is that okay? Under this atmosphere. And um, I don't want us to sit. You can keep on standing. But I, I want us to honor the Lord. And I want to pray for you tonight as we, as we honor the Lord. Did you receive from the Lord? Yes, come on. Give, you, give the Lord a praise offering. Come on. Thank 
Yeah, that's that's not very good in Paul. Come on, have you received? You just received for two, two and a half hours. I want to encourage you as we honor the Lord tonight that as I said this morning, we don't honor the Lord on a compulsion. We honor the Lord because we love the Lord. We love the Lord because we love the Lord. We give to the Lord. We don't give really, we bring because all that I am belongs to the Lord. My life is His, given myself away a long time ago. Amen. Why don't you lift your hands as I pray for you and then we're going to honor the Lord of our giving and that includes everybody online. Father, I thank you that in this night, Lord, that we honor your word as we honor you with our giving. Father, thank you that in this night, that for every son and daughter in this house, as they honor you, Lord, that the windows of heaven will be opened up that the devourer will be rebuked on their behalf. Father, that they will have no lack. Lord, that their homes will be overflowing of goodness, mercy, peace, joy, and righteousness. Father, I thank you that they will never lack any good thing. Father, you have said in your word, bring unto me and test me now in this. And so, Father, as we bring unto your storehouse in this night, as we give unto you in this night, Father, thank you that as we bring what we bring as holy, what we give we see as a holy action unto a righteous God. Father, thank you that you are just and merciful and kind. But Lord, I pray in this night for every single person. Lord, as this church is our oasis of hope and help, Lord, let your hand of blessing and favor rest upon your people, that they will know that they are chosen by the Lord, highly favored, deeply loved, and abundantly blessed. Father, receive our gifts. I pray like the Israelites, may we not make the mistake of Malachi 1, 6 to 8, to bring you that what is lame and sick and dilapidated. But may we honor you in this night, Lord, of what belongs to you. I pray that there will be no fear of man, Lord, none whatsoever. I thank you, Lord, that we a people will be a people. Lord, that will be blessed in our incoming and in our outgoing. Lord, wherever we are, wherever we go, that the blessing and the favor of the Lord will rest upon us. This I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You're welcome to step out of your seats and to come and honor the Lord. Everybody that's online of us, the electronic means will be up. Let's honor the Lord with our giving tonight. Let's sing a song, Pastor Wade. Give him my soul. 